All right. Do you want to uh, talk about what you just asked me to do? The blasphemous thing you asked me to do? I was trying to give Coda treats, so I told Aaron to block Merlin so he didn't see me doing it. But he saw. <laughs> Go. Block Merlin so that Cody he get treats. What are you doing up here? You little. You know what? You know if Merlin, if Merlin can sit on the counter, I guess I can too, right? And me too. Yeah. So um, my sister came uh, and it was like a surprise, and it was really really cool because. It really showed us that we weren't alone during this kind of thing when it happened. Um, it was awesome. It was just like, it was really cool to know that a family member really cared and was like, dropped everything just to come. Like that was more, that meant more than anything really. Cause that's really all we needed at the time, looking back, you know? It was just crazy. You get, we were sleeping on the couch every night because we didn't feel comfortable sleeping in our own bedroom. Once um, Christine, Aaron's sister came in, we slept in our own bedroom. So it was just like, we wouldn't, I don't think we would be this far along in um, healing and moving on from it uh, if she hadn't come. We're gonna do a, um, a house tour probably the next video. Yeah, or now. Or we can do it now. You wanna do it now? Let's go. Um, okay, so the house isn't perfectly clean because I wasn't anticipating guests, but. <laughs> uh, it's funny because you say that and we say that to everyone, like if people come over all the time and they're always like, they look at us like we're crazy. I know, because we're so, such a, like, a neat freak that... I think our friends are just dirty, though. Probably. Like, we have a lot of dirty friends, a lot I mean, of shady this, characters. This piece of mail right there, you see how it's just right there? Yeah. That bugs me. Like, it, internally, uh, I'm, going crazy. I'm screaming inside because that's not supposed to be there. Yeah, see, that's kind of not normal. Oh, man. I could deal with like a little bit of messy, but he's just like... So, together we're good because he... Makes up for my my mess, my what mess you, side. What did you say the other day? Like I said, if you weren't with me, your house would be a pigsty, and you would be like a borderline hoarder. Like, <laughs> what did you say to me about like if I didn't have you? I forgot. It was perfect. You'd be a serial killer. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't remember. It, was it would be too clean. It wouldn't even be lived in. It'd have like those plastic covers, and it would be just like no one would be able to live in it. It would just no one would be comfortable in it. Like I may I bring comfort you to the house. My comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, this is our living room. <laughs> oh, let me get off my ass and get off this counter. Maybe you should do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So this is our living room. Um, it's a lot smaller than our old place, but this is what we wanted. We wanted more like cozy and comforting, and um, and there's just so much like extra space in our other house, and it was a condo, so we shared walls with neighbors. This one's like a single house. Uh, we just like there's so much extra space that we just never needed or never went to and it was just like it felt too empty and Especially with just the two of us yeah. like it felt it was huge I never in a million years would think to say that somewhere was too big But it really did feel empty especially when I was like a home alone and he was home like, it just felt like Way too big You want to show them the best part though? so Oh my god, this is Aaron's new favorite toy. If you say you're coming out from, let's just say it. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm coming out from my bedroom. Just say I'm coming out from my bedroom. That is right not here. your bedroom. Just for the fantasy, just the okay. So say you're coming out from your bedroom, you just woke up, and you just want to come out here, and you say, you want my breakfast, right? All you have to do is sit here, sit down, your husband can put your breakfast here, and then you just... <sighs> I am not bringing him breakfast there. Right? Yeah. Let's get on with the tour. Before you kill me. Um, so you showed the living room, I showed the dining room, now you should show the kitchen. <laughs> so we got our bar stool still, we got our kitchen, which is like one of our favorite parts of this house. Um, the subway splash, it's really cool. We have like this huge sink that's really nice and it overlooks our part of our backyard. And um, yeah, it's just like, um, it's cute. It's perfect for us. It's really cool because one of the things that we really like is when we like have friends over and we're cooking and stuff, or they're cooking and for us, we can just all be around the same area. Then we got over here. So this is actually one of my favorite rooms in the house. It's the kids room. I think it's just so perfect. It's really cool. Um, it actually looks like someone lives here right now. It does. Merlin or Coda 
likes to unmake the bed. It's actually Coda and Merlin's room right now. Right? Because Coda, yeah, Coda messes up the bed whenever we make it, and Merlin eats his food right there. There's a couple of things that we want to do differently. Like we want to, like we gotta add like some photos or like I mean, excuse me, like artwork and stuff. But um, <laughs> sorry. This is gonna be our kids' room. Yeah. Which is pretty cool to think about. Sorry, they're both like, why the hell are you in my room? Watch them do it. Watch them do it. Watch them mess up the bed. Go ahead. No shame. No shame in his game. Go ahead. Don't stop on our account. So this room is a lot smaller because um basically we had to make it into an office because it's basically like a box <laughs> but it kind of works out right yeah so the harry potter castle fit perfectly uh, yep gotta get our, our harry potter castle do, do, do. that was actually a gift from a subscriber yeah. so this is really cool because you know we get to have the inventory i have all of the all of my comics lined up so i can do orders and all my order stuff in there so i can just put the books together and um, ship them out because we do all the shipping from this office too now um, And then you know, there's the desk where we get all our work done I'm getting ready to ship all these fairy boy books out whenever they come in on Monday fairy boy 2 So that's exciting too. get these books out and then we have like all of our books and everything And then so if we're like brainstorming or something It's cool cuz you know John will be writing on there and I could just sit here with my little pipe and just <laughs> Stop right you don't have a pipe Did he? What? When did he get comfortable? <laughs> Hi, baby. We made it very cozy for them. Oh, you're so cute, Coda Bear. It's kind of funny. So far, every room that we've been in, Coda has a bed because he just he likes to be in every room we're in. So. And he likes to have his own bed. Yeah. Merlin, you wanna continue the tour? Go, Merlin. Show. No, he's gonna lead you right to the food bowl. He sure is. If you let him take the tour. All right. All right, next. So we got our pantry in here, but it's not that exciting. Are you sure that's the pantry? I'm not putting it with your shit today. Come what the? What did I do? Uh, this is a mess. Sorry, guys, but this is the bathroom. <gasps> Dude, that's Aaron. Bear sink. My panties are in there and everything. This is the bathroom. What's in there? What was in there? Nothing, what did you nothing, cover? What did you cover? Clothes. There's our uh, deep bathtub. It's super deep. Yeah, it's really cool. It's it's an awesome bathtub. Yeah. And then go down the hall. We got our room, which is a lot smaller than normal. But yeah, all we could fit basically was the bed. <laughs> so we have our bed, our artistic photographs. Then going downstairs. So we have our. There's another bathroom over here. Yeah, that's for guests. That's your bathroom. Uh, I mean you, like you. <laughs> So the laundry's going, sorry if it's loud, but this is the basement. We built these more of these shelves that we like to build. <laughs> we built and made a laundry room um, basically out of it. And honestly, like, so uh, No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Oh, oh, Merlin, Merlin, careful, careful, buddy. They love it down, okay, so like... They, as you Another see, bed. As you can see, they love it down here for some reason. I don't know why, but they just make themselves at home. Like, look at them. Like, instantly. <laughs> Coda. You better watch out. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. Watch. Watch out. Coda, watch out. Move. Ah! <laughs> He loves it. My lad. Why do you oh. down here so much? I don't know, but I'm scared that, he, that thing is going to snap. Dude, it's already. Oh my god. Look, you see it? Oh my, oh, god, oh my god. Merlin, careful, careful. Merlin, 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 Merlin. Be cool, Merlin, be cool, Merlin. be cool, be cool. Don't, 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 don't do it. Just stay calm. Look at it. It's already. I think you have to twist it. That's why. I'm... Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have to tighten it, though. Like, see how it's not tight? You have to turn it this way to tighten it. I think it's. Look at him. What? Look at him. Shit, Merlin. Okay, there. Is it? Is it? Oh god. Merlin, okay. careful. So basically what we had to do was just, cause our house is, this house is a lot smaller than the other place we lived in. What we have to do is just throw all of the furniture that didn't fit upstairs down here. So we kind of made it as best as we could. We put like a bar area, like a little book area. But our plan overall is to make this more of a cozy, like put up stuff on the walls, make it so cozy, make like a family room. So. When we have kids, we can just come down here and just all hang out as a family. Yeah, like we thought like this whole area could be like kid stuff and like those little like toy houses, you know, like where they can 
playhouse. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh yeah. And if worse comes to worse, we'll always use this as the. I mean, it's it's a big space, so we can use it. And it's finished, which a lot of basements aren't usually sometimes. So we'll just make it into like another bedroom, maybe. Maybe we'll move down here and. No, no, we won't do that. We won't do that. No, we not. So yeah, that's our little house. We really love it. It's like. Honestly, it's our, it's our dream house. Like, we love it here. It's, the neighborhood is perfect. The house is perfect. You can, like, it's cool because we can, it's the first place we've ever lived in where we can envision all of the stages of our lives here. And, um, I don't know, we're just, we're, like, really ready to start our family here now. And, um, just, like, actually putting roots down because you guys know we've moved so much we move yeah. all the time. And it was scary. After, um, the break-in, we were here for like two days and we were really thinking about like bouncing and just trying to find a new place and um i'm glad we didn't we would have lost so much money too and we just like we just decided to not let it take us down that path and so like i don't know was, so we're really happy here we really like we love it and um yeah